welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i am back with another video and this video i'll be doing a took off on my sister she's had this set for about three weeks now if you guys remember me doing these a few weeks back we are now going to soak them off and get her a new set. This video will be her soak off only. Her new set will be the next video. But as you can see, all of her nails are still intact. Um, no lifting at all. One of her stones are missing there. But um, they're all still intact. Um, as you can see, she cut them down as well because she braids hair. So she, end up, she always ended up getting a lift and cutting them down. But that is what happened here. And we're going to go ahead and soak them off. The first thing I like to do is cut the nails down with this little tool here that I got from Amazon. This is a wire cutter and has been my best friend. I love this tool so much. It is so easy to use when cutting down the nails. They just literally snip right off easily. Um, you guys can find this tool in my Amazon storefront and my Amazon storefront is always linked in the description below. So after cutting down the nails, I'm going to go ahead and remove her clean. I'm actually going to switch over to my cuticle nipper. It's, like a, it's a cuticle nipper, but I use it as well to remove rhinestones so that is what I'm going to do next you guys can find this cuticle nipper in my Amazon storefront as well these rhinestones are on here pretty good as well thanks to the labeling adhesive that is the only rhinestone adhesive that I use to apply my rhinestones um, it's super good it lasts me a long time like I said all of hers was still intact except for one and that's really good being as it's been three weeks Next, I just like to go in with my extra coarse drill bit to remove as much acrylic from the nails that I can before soaking. You always want to remove as much acrylic as you can so that the soak time can be faster. And I just switch back and forth between nails and back and forth between filing and soaking. Um, and I just take my time. I try not to focus on filing one nail like so much at once. Um, I switch between nails like I said, so just so that I don't keep the file in one place and the nail doesn't burn. It's actually time as well for me to switch out this coarse bit because it doesn't work as good as it used to. Um, before I could just file the nails right down and just be done. But yeah. Also, just wanted to mention as well, if you guys haven't seen my prep video, I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Um, as you can see, these nails lasted a while, three weeks to be exact, and we took them off. Like I said in that video, my nails always last me a month plus, and when I do go to take them off, it is voluntarily, and all the nails are still intact. No lifting. And my prep has just about everything to do with that, so you guys can go check out that video. Or you guys can even go check out the video on this that I did on her right here. My full prep process is in that video in depth as well. Yeah, it's definitely time for a new bit. Anytime your bit isn't working as good as it used to, um, metal bits that is, as good as it used to, then you should probably, or it's probably time to switch it out for a new one. So this is the soak bowl that we'll be using to soak her nails off. I got this from Shein. If you guys haven't seen any of my Shein nail hauls or nail accessory hauls, nail product haul, whatever you want to call it, I recommend you guys go check that out. I have a ton of Shein videos that you guys can check out with a ton of good products. I'll be using 100% acetone in there from the brand Onyx that I get from Walmart for a few dollars um, to soak her nails off. And as I said, we'll just be going back and forth between soaking and um, filing her nails off. And while that hand is soaking, we're going to go ahead and remove the nails on her other hand. So I did go ahead and switch bits, um, which I thought would work or help some, and it really didn't. I'll just have to repurchase one of the bits that I used prior, my one of my extra or that first extra extra course, I think it was bit. Um, it just has doled out over the time I've had it, so it's time for a new one. And this one really didn't do any better, so I went ahead eventually and switched it back.
right, so we went ahead and pulled the other hand out of the soap bowl and let the other one soak some. I just grabbed my cuticle pusher to scrape off some of that acrylic and began to file again. And y'all, this is just the way that I took off acrylic. Um, I do the same to my own nails. I'm very impatient, so I don't like sitting on wow. So I soak some, file some, switch to the other hand, and then do the same thing over and over. I don't really like using like soap caps or anything like that because those never really work for me. This is what worked for me, so that is what I do. Also, I'm not really sure how long this process took me. This is my first time soaking off someone else's nails other than my own. Um, she normally takes her nails off herself. Um, but yeah, I feel like it may have taken me like an hour or so. It takes some time, y'all. It's actually very tedious and um, I don't know, like whenever I do take clients, I'm not really sure if I'll offer the service or not. I know that a lot of people or a lot of nail techs have issues with like soaking off nails and pricing. Uh, I believe like the standard price is like $15 or something like that. I'm not really sure um, nowadays, but um, I would see a lot of techs complaining. Well, not complaining, but like talking about how tedious soap offs are and indeed they are and how little they charge for the amount of time and work they put in for soap offs and it not being worth it. I certainly don't think $15 or $20 is enough for a soak off. As it is, it does take a lot of, lot of work. Um, a lot of techs don't even offer the service anymore because like I said, they feel like it's not worth it, um, the amount of work they put in. So some have gotten a lot of backlash on them, like upping their prices on soak offs, and that is kind of mind blowing to me. Um, to even charge that little for a soak off because like that's a lot of work and it's really aggravating because like people who charge more for like removals like i even saw them talking about that as well like lash techs and hairstylists and all that kind of thing but i could go on and on and on and on all day long about how you know underpaid and unappreciated um no techs are that's a whole other topic for another day and like I said, a lot of parts are cut out of this video, obviously, for like, you know, length purposes or time purposes. But these did take me like, um, more than an hour for sure to remove. Like, yeah. And I don't do nails, um, as you guys know, like I don't take clients or anything like that. So I don't know how this, how long this normally takes. I just know that's how long it took me. Maybe like if I do it more often, I don't get, I'll get faster or something like that. Um, but yeah, this... More of a story, soaking off nails is very time consuming and it's a job. If any of you guys do nails and um, perform soak offs, let me know in the comment section below how long it usually takes you. Also, like I said, I know it would have been a little faster if my bid had not been dull, but like I said, I'll be buying a replacement one soon. So we're getting somewhere y'all and as you can see she has a lot of growth. If you guys watched the video I did on this set of nails I did on her. Um, you guys can see that I cut her nails down or filed them down some so she does have a lot of growth. And pretty soon since we're getting lower and lower and um, closer to the natural nail bed I'll be switching bits to a um, fine grit.
I like to lay a layer of clear acrylic down on the natural nail before starting each step. So you guys can't really see, but I'm going to go in one more time and just file that clear layer off and then I'm going to switch bits. Soap also gets so dusty, y'all. Like, there's dust everywhere. Um, I didn't even notice that I had this drawer below me open with all of, like, my nail stuff in it. So there's dust all over there and just everywhere. Um, if you guys have a good dust collector recommendation, let me know in the comment section below. But y'all, that is the gist of the video. Um, the acrylic is pretty much removed. I didn't get a chance to show her other hands, but it's pretty much removed. Straight after this, I went into um, just filing the natural nails with um, a 240 grit, prepping the nails as usual, and applying the tips for her next set. Stay tuned for that video because it will be in the next one. I'm not including prep in that video because you guys already know my prep process, or if you don't, like I said, check out those videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications so that you are notified each time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Actually, a lot I'm back because I just learned that um, some of the footage for the video I did on her new set is actually gone. I have no idea where it went. I just have a little bit of it, so I might as well have included it in this video. I'm so sorry, and I'm so sick that that happened, but hey. For her new set, we'll be using these colors from Nail House, Icy, Bubblegum, Mellow, and Honeydew. We're going to be doing a marble kind of, um, or a tie-dye kind of look. Uh, I got all the application. I just have no idea where the shaping and design went, but I just included what I could. I hope you guys can enjoy it. I did get some footage of the shapes part of the nails, but not the shaping itself. I'm going to also be using a color creamy size 12 color ski brush. Right now, I'm just going in on her index nail with a simple white because the nail will just be white um, with a little gummy bear charm added, as you guys will see. It really sucks that I lost the footage. Um, that normally doesn't happen to me. I have no idea where it went. Um, yeah, I'm just really disappointed, but hey. For this nail right here and a few of the others, we'll be doing, like I said, a tie-dye design. I'll just be placing those colors from Nail House um, randomly on the nail to create a tie-dye effect. For any of those wondering, the pink color is bubblegum, the yellow is mellow, the blue is icy, and then the like green looking one is honeydew. And just in case you guys missed it, they're all from Nail House. I'm going to go ahead and take me Secrets Clear Acrylic and cap the nails as I go.
all right and so for the next nail the pinky nail i just made it clear because i'll be doing some pixie crystals on that Alright, after capping the nails, I went ahead and shaped them, and like I said, I didn't catch that footage or any footage for that matter at all after um, application, but shaping or the nail shape, which is this right here, this is how the nails look shaped, very cute, very crisp, go check out my shaping tutorial. <laughs> Alright, and then the other footage that I caught was um, me finishing up the nails. As you guys can see, the designs on there now, like I said, I didn't catch any of that part. I have no idea where that footage went, but I will make sure that never happens again because I literally am so sick right now. Um, but anyway, I'm just using a color creamy diamond top coat to top coat the nails, and here are the final results. These came out super cute and age appropriate. Um, I didn't mention as well that she let me freestyle these, so this is what I came up with for her. And I know her like the back of my hand. I don't kind of know she likes, so um, I knew she would love these. Um, these like scream her. But um, yeah, that is all I have for real this time for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you are notified each time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.